I'll start filming it. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Mobility Project. You know, in keeping with, with things, some of the things we've been doing, is we're trying to pull in really good athletes into Mobility Watch, show you guys some things that maybe you're not thinking about in terms of recovery, uh, nutrition, kind of the details. And one of the things that you know, we, we don't talk about very much is that when athletes are injured or we tweak uh, tissue or we get out of position, some of it's heavy weights, you know, we work on this model of, you know, icing, compression, elevation, early restoration of kind of mobility and, and movement in those tissues. Um, special, special deal today. Um, Mark Bell is in the in the house. Uh, super up? training. That's what's up. You guys may recognize him from being very strong. Currently working on the world, working on the world uh, championship, or excuse me, for the world record for bench press as a as a non bench specialist. But uh, it's interesting because if you go over this direction, this is Donnie Thompson, who is the has the highest. Is it going still? Oh yeah. Has the highest uh, total ever in the history of the world, and uh, current world record holder as a. And the bench press is non bench press specialist, is that right? No. Which is something like 910 pounds? 910. 910, that's okay. 910. How many times are you going to have to bench press 225 to hit one of those? Is the question. <laughs> and the answer is a lot. So, special, special deal. He was in town going for the world record in squat. Very close attempt. What'd you end up just squatting in a way? 1270. Yeah. Just 1273. Mm -hmm. How many times are you going to have to duct tape 315 to the bar <laughs> over and over again to get one squat? It's more efficient. What's turned out is a more efficient athlete. But what we've got really going on that's extraordinary is that um, um, Donnie works in a clinic or in, in a region in, in South Carolina, Carolina, and he's the specialist at strength and conditioning for a uh, big kind of sports orthopedic group, mm -hmm. right? And one of the things we want to show you today is got, he's got some really great techniques, kind of pioneered for Dick Herzl, Dick Herzl. and uh, about compression. And we don't usually look at compression or think about compression as number one. Normally we typically think about icing right away, but it turns out probably compression is a much better tool to manage swelling, manage kind of... The, the, the distension of the joint and the loss of proprioception. So what we've got is a, uh, this is one of the compression bands from Dick Hartzell, and, uh, and it's on jumpstretchband.com, mm -hmm. right? And uh, we're, he, we, we're basically have the strongest man in the world going to show us how he would treat my ankle if I tweaked. Is that fair? Right. All right, so here's what we've got. We have a very, very strong mm -hmm. ankle. So what's going on here? What are so you doing? I'm going to have you, all we're going to do is uh, one thing we preach, movement, movement, movement. So we're going to get your ankle a little bit, at, if you had to tweak that, you know, just the typical uh, roll, of the, roll of the foot, and now you have some stiffness and some swelling right up here. What we'll do is we'll just uh, compress it, and then we're going to have you doing some exercises while it's under compression. I'm going to take these bands and distract the joint while you're doing that, and then the compression will get all the fluids out of your ankle while we're working it, so we can move it around without pain. Then distracting the joint will kind of get you out of pain, and all your movement will will uh, help you to get back on track faster. Whatever it's you're doing, running, jumping, you know, lifting, and with a lot less pain, you know. So and that's the thing is just to trick your ankle into getting better instead of uh, walking around on crutches. Boy, I like that, huh? Trick my ankle into get. Can you trick it into a uh, 600 pound deadlift? Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> we're trying. So here's Mobility Watt we'll Project. Around you. We're working on uh, trying to get stronger just through osmosis. We're hoping it's going to work here. So it's, well, take a look. There's not a lot of good guidelines about how long you should compress. If you're concerned about this, get someone help. Get get working in a clinic. Get with a specialist. Work with your physio on this. But remember, you can take a, a crack at it. Obviously, if you compress something until it becomes numb, mm -hmm. then uh, that's probably over the top. So you know, be reasonable about this. If you feel like your foot's going to fall off, your foot's going to fall off. But in the meantime, show, show us what compression looks like. Yeah, and the foot can take a lot of, uh, of, you know, your foot and ankle. You're standing up on it all day long. Even when it's injured, it can function. So uh, what we'd like to do, we know we can handle a lot, of, a lot of pressure from the compression band. It can handle the distraction a lot better than, like, your wrist can. Okay? So now, what I'll st start is this, a small body mass and work to large body mass. So I don't want to start up here and work down feel like your toes are going to pop off. And if you're uncomfortable, we can't go through the treatment. You know? So the more comfortable we can make you under stressful conditions, the longer you'll be able to handle the treatment and the reason. better you get. So what I'm going to do is start here. All right? Most of the swelling on a, on a not necessarily an ankle sprain, but you know, a, a, an ankle that's been rolled will take place up here. High ankle. We'll get right there. And I'm just going to give myself a band to bite off of, and then I'm going to start. And he's putting a little stretch in there, but not freakish amount of stretch. Yeah, and I'm going to 
You probably put how much? How much stretch are you putting there? Like ten percent, fifteen percent of the band tension? Twenty percent, about thirty-five percent. Yeah. This this thing can get really. So if you if long. if he stretched it as long as he could, mm -hmm. this would be a hundred percent of the band stretch. Yeah. This would be a hundred percent right here. There you go. So it's about 30, 30 35 percent. Now I'll tell you, that you were going to find is that when you we have an ankle inversion sprain mm -hmm. and you've kind of tweaked this ATF. Um, then what you're going to find is that this feels really good and supported. And this is why, you know, what we try to do is get compression on that joint, try to get that swelling mm -hmm. out. And uh, a lot of times when there's swelling in the joint, what's happening is it's going to prevent the joint from functioning, basically inhibits the, the joint, right. shuts down all the proprioception, and all of that swelling keeps all those tissues from knitting. So if we can manage swelling first, then we we're really are, are kind of well off. So that's easy. And look, I still have easy movement. I still have capillary refill on all my toes. You still see I'm getting a good blood supply and good blood flow, and it's not like I'm feeling like I'm going to freak out and my foot's going to pop off at all. And you could even take your PT, could even take your, your ankle, manipulate it some, just to get some movement around into the joint. You know, just go by feel on this. You know how the ankle works, so you just roll with it a little bit. I, uh, can, I can do that actively myself, even mm -hmm. if I had... If you can reach, <laughs> if you have a, a mobility mean, problem. You're saying there's a side effect of being the strongest man in the world? Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, the, it's best to have someone else put on your own shoes. So we're going to take this. I'm going to take and try to short side it on the inside. Get it right here. I want to kind of be on the same level as him. That's why I'm kneeling. I'm going to get this pop. You'll hear it. Hear it? Then I'm going to put that under my leg. Hold that. We talk about distraction and mobility a lot. Is that a lot of times when these joints are under compression a lot, one of the things that we can do is create a distraction force, a separation between the kind of articular surfaces, the weight-bearing surfaces, and then then we can get started with the remotion, the remotion kind of rebooting again. And so a lot of the distraction we do is about creating space, and then we can actually get motion. Otherwise, it's like a hinge that's stuck in, in jam mechanic. Restore the space. It's a very kind of traditional osteopathic yeah. tradition. You just gonna take this. <clears throat> We're gonna go right around here. I'm going to kind of roll around twice and get it a little bit lower. And I Is that still, okay? My, my foot's getting a little cold, but I still have good capillary fill. Nothing's freaky. Now we're going to take and distract him, and he's going to start doing a little bit of plantar flexion, dorsal flexion. Okay, now we'll pull. So then I'm just going to now you'll, that's it. restore that motion. And we're trying to be in pain-free ranges. So if it's a little tiny range, it's still a very effective way. So I can just say little motions. We can do the box corners, mm -hmm. working on kind of diagonals. We can just work on kind of circumduction mm -hmm. of the whole joint. You can hit your corners, and if you have a tight little area, you can stop, pause there, release, stop, come up right up, stop one degree short of when your pain is, mm -hmm. and try to stay in that pain-free range. We don't want the pain inhibition kind of kicking in, pain response kicking in. But what you'll find is that the and normally without without the distraction and without the kind of um, compression, these would be normally very painful ranges. But very suddenly painful. we can start unmapping these painful ranges, disconnecting them in your body, and now you've got restored motion. Yeah, we've actually just tricked your ankle into performing because the compression takes all the fluids out of the ankle, which are causing your pain. How long do you guys normally uh, treat like this? We most people can handle two minutes. So you, you see how reasonable this is? Yeah. This is a very unreasonable strong man who's saying, hey, about two minutes on this is yeah. probably enough. Mm -hmm. So don't be nutty. And you'll notice we have not even said the word tourniquet. That's wrong <laughs> thinking. Right? Understand? But two minutes of good compression. Mm -hmm. And then what do you do? Because you just release the whole thing? Yeah. What I'll do is I'll take, and sometimes if you can uh, walk around on it before I take the compression band off, we'll have you do that. But normally the first time, it's hard to walk around with this. And also, when I'm pulling, I'll go with your foot. So when you're going through your box corners again, I'll show you. So I'll pull this way when you're pointing. Pull out. Go with it. Pull that way. So I'll just work with you. I'll pull harder on the inside and harder on the outside, depending where your foot's going. And I'll just Excellent. Kinda, yeah. Lots of ways to get compression. Get a get an Inzer, uh, you know, powerlifting elbow wrap. Mm -hmm. you, you might be able to wear it temporarily on your knee. Um, get some compression on that. And even if you only last for a few minutes on that, it's not only the compression, but it's the rebounding of bringing these tissues offload suddenly that makes a big difference. So we suddenly come off tension and we can restore tons of blood flow. And you saw how we booted your, we made a stirrup for your foot. So the, the pants are going to come off with a snap at me. I'll have your lock, have you locked in there. I just pull all that off in one big knot. And my foot, my foot is still 
Got capillary refill. Yeah. It's not not unreasonable. I can still move all my toes. Can okay. your uh, little piggy go all the way home? Yeah. Dude, I got an abductor digity mini me. Bam! Right there. Right there. See, pull the toe out. Wow. wow. That guy's jacked. He's jacked. Yeah. That's not I'm jacked. My, my foot just swallowed. Look at the peanut, <laughs> peanut gallery back here. <laughs> And uh, you can see, you know, just how what what significant compression was. But this idea, you'll see the blood flowing right into that area right now. See it, how it's turning red and flushing? It's just uh, it's it's your body's way of reacting to the compression. It's a it's a it's a it's kind of like a, a um a flush. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And it's Holy restoring shit. blood flow, restoring circulation makes such a big difference. Mm -hmm. You guys just had a guy at this weekend right. at your meet who tweaked his shoulder a little bit on the right. bench, right? He subluxed his shoulder, the humerus, and yeah, uh, the bench shirts. When you're in a power lift, what we'll do is the bench shirts will be really tight around the shoulders here. So when you're lowering the bar down, the bench shirts pushing in here, trying to pull the head of the humerus out of your shoulder. So you have to have very strong shoulders just for the bench shirt, not even the shearing force is coming down. His shoulder sublex, I think, posteriorly went pow, pow. And uh, he just started turning purple and black and all kinds of colors within seconds in front of us. So we got his bed shirt off, I took the compre two compression bands, and I just compressed the heck out of it. Then we forgot about him <laughs> for about his five arm minutes. Was great. Five <laughs> minutes, not two minutes, five minutes. Yeah. Okay. And well we left it on too because he was traumatized. I mean he's he was gonna be in a lot of pain. His arm turned blue. It's okay. It, it came back, but it literally was able to he was able to deadlift about hundred pounds less than he was capable of, right. but he still was able to deadlift with his shoulder hurting and this morning, when he was up, he was able to function okay. He's still in some pain, but it really he finished up the a contest lot of with uh, 